what you doing? Packing for our trip. Where are we going? Kentucky. Kentucky? Mm -hmm. See the horse see, races? We're going to go see the uh, Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum. <laughs> We're getting everything packed today. Food, food, and more food. Mostly chocolate. <laughs> what was that last gesture? Chocolate. Okay. All right. Staples. Just so, yeah, it's a staple food. Just so you know, I'm not kidding. She agrees with me. Uh, we're going camping and we're going to have a good time. Y'all come with us. Uh, doing our final walk around. We just hooked up everything in the break in the rain today. It's still been raining here in North Alabama a good bit. Rained most of the morning, but it's dry now. Or not raining. It's not dry. Not by any stretch. It's still wet. But it's not raining. So tire pressure has been checked. The uh, car being towed is hooked up. But the lights haven't been checked because the uh i would say assistant but she's the boss i'm the assistant is not here to check the lights yet so we'll do that right before we get on the road but we did check them the other day and everything worked awnings are latched no problems with the awnings trying to slip out antennas down jacks are up and yes we have a new toad or a different toad it's not brand new it's new to us Jeep Cherokee four-wheel drive with the two-speed uh, transfer case, which we had a hard time finding one that had that feature. By the way, if you're ever looking for one, the active drive is the key word, and the ability to put the four-wheel drive in neutral is the function that you have to have. We had a change of plans. We didn't get to go to the Ark Encounter or the Creation Museum. That's something we've been wanting to go to for lots of years, and we had everything booked, everything planned. We two other couples were going with us, and an hour before we got ready to leave, we got the notice that they had shut Creation Museum and the Ark down because of too many people being there. So anyway, we were in a panic then. We still wanted to go somewhere camping for spring break, so we called the other two couples over to the house. I'd already made a roast and potatoes for us to eat while we're on the road to get there, and so they came over and we all ate supper and brainstormed and tried to figure out and. In North Alabama, the weather was really bad, rainy, cold, and yuck, just yucky. So we decided we wanted to go somewhere that was pretty and warm and sunshiny. So we got to look in on the coast, and uh, one of the ladies had always wanted to go to Bell and Graff Gardens. So we started hunting campgrounds. Uh, the first one we called, no campground spots available. Second one we called, uh, he said, I think I have three because we wanted full hookup. He said, I have three that will fit you so all he did was take down my name he said when you get here we'll hook you up and it was the easiest and reservation we've ever made he said yeah we got spots for you i'll just yeah. write your name down when yeah. you get here you can pay me didn't have to First put down happened. a deposit or anything so uh this campground is excellent it's not a lot of amenities it is in a downtown residential it's not, section it's not an rv luxury no. resort no but it's the sites are nice it's in a neighborhood yeah. you drive past a few houses and you finally yeah. get to a house that you pull in their driveway mm -hmm. and their back maybe 10 acres is an rv mm -hmm. parking lot the sites are level mm -hmm. the voltage is good they have free cable tv if you need that uh, they have wi-fi that's pretty good i personally use our verizon hotspots just so i'm not on their network they have propane if you and, need it and the guy was super friendly and very helpful very nice. he, he came out to make mm -hmm. sure we got the site we wanted and that you know we could set up this way or this way since there's three of us we kind of wanted a buddy site system so he hooked it up and made that work so I, i'd give it a four stars just because we got everything we need it's just there's no heated indoor pools and no workout rooms and anything like that but for us this is all need we that. need yeah we need a place to sleep and then we get out and go on our adventures and we went to mm -hmm. see bell and Grath gardens and also anyway we're in uh beautiful mobile alabama we've been to bell and Grath gardens the weather is perfect in the 70s low humidity light breeze sunshine the sunshine and uh they have much fresher seafood here than we have in area of alabama so yes. we have catfish we don't have much seafood <laughs> no. hey we're at the shady acres campground they're open all year 
They've got free cable. They've got water, sewer, 50 amp electricity. Uh, there is a dump station if you need to use that. There's propane, a laundry facility, showers and bathrooms, uh, free Wi-Fi. They have, I think, 68 campsites. Uh, they're all well maintained and there's you have plenty of space it's not like you're just crowded up against each other they have a beautiful lake down at the end that does have alligators so you have to be careful but we've really enjoyed this park the owners are super friendly super nice and helpful and we've had a good week plenty of sunshine plenty of uh, warm temperatures and we're having a great time let me say that uh, the campground kind of fooled us. We pulled off the uh, Highway 163 onto the old military road to head to the campground. And you're just driving through a neighborhood, and all of a sudden there's this little white sign on the side of the road, and the first thing you see is a house trailer. So I got the impression that this was a full-time resident house trailer park, mobile RV park. Uh, but it, it is not. There are some full-timers here, but they are very quiet. This was a very quiet, peaceful uh, location. It was centrally located to, uh, we even drove over to Gulf Shores, uh, Foley, we ate at the home of the throat rolls, uh, Lambert's, I think it was. That should be a video in its own. And we went down to Bellingrath Gardens, we went down to Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island was very impressive. I saw a lot of things that I didn't expect to see uh, museum-wise and all the different uh, sea life and uh, history of ships and artifacts that they found from sunken ships and things like that. And then the uh, Fort Gaines. That Gaines. Gaines. Fort Gaines that we went to. Uh, but they closed at 5 and we didn't get there till 4. But as far as the campground itself, we really loved our experience here. It's been everything we expected it to be, and it was only $31 a night. So I was very well pleased with that. Trip to the uh, Bellingrath Gardens. We learned a lot about that. Normally, I'm not a big garden and butterfly type person, but this really was a great way to spend a day. The weather was perfect, the scenery was beautiful, and we learned a lot about this uh, gardens area. It, the house itself is 10,500 square foot, and the property was purchased in 1917, and he built the house in. 1930 or completed the house in 1935 I'm sure it took quite a while to make but uh, the gentleman Mr. Bellingrath Walter Bellingrath was president of the local Coca-Cola bottling plant and was very wealthy they they built the house as kind of a retreat to get away from work he was a bit of a workaholic they said and of course this was in such a rural area that they didn't have electricity so he was wealthy enough to buy a generator to provide electricity for the property and uh, the uh, Bessie May was his wife and she was a collector of fine French porcelain and she bought a lot of the stuff during the depression to help those that needed money and so they were very charitable people and this was to be their summer home or their their where they go to relax and the uh, gardens was such a big part of their home that they opened it up to the public and let public 
drive through and meander through the grounds till eventually they uh, move there as a permanent basis and open the gardens up so that the public could enjoy this as well and it, it was very uh, beautiful the entire property it's uh, 65 acres in total we really enjoyed touring the Bell and Grath homes they had tons of silver and china and uh, porcelain everywhere all the furnishings are original furnishings from that period this is the original kitchen it actually had a dishwasher in it which was unheard of in the 1935s uh, Miss Bellingrass hardest job for the day was picking out the china she had a different set of china for breakfast lunch and dinner so um, that was her job every day was to pick that out and the staff was to get that ready a lot of the staff stayed on the grounds itself to wait on the family in the gardens here's some of the engraved china there's one from the coca-cola company that they had beautiful beautiful silver uh, this is the dining room this is the outside dining room it's a screened in porch and it overlooks the lake which is beautiful I would probably have to stay here most of my time this is a music box they brought from France there was so much beautiful furniture everywhere and with it being with the period you just wouldn't imagine seeing this much at all together at one time what it was very beautiful